I'm the Gypsy and you're not. And this is my TopCon video vlog number three. The original personal convention organizer's notebook. T-O-P-C-O-N TopCon. I'm glad you're with us today. I hope you uh, I hope you had a chance to view vlogs number one and two because we talked about some things in there and just like with those two vlogs, we're going to talk about some other things. First, I just want to say I hope each and every one of you had a very Merry Christmas and that Santa Claus brought you everything that you wanted for Christmas and a few things that you didn't want. Now, like with Christmas, TopCon is a chance for people to get together. You know, at Christmas time, people come together. They share with their family and friends. Well, that's what TopCon is about. TopCon is about sharing. It is sharing with your family and friends. Because when you share what you like, your passions, your likes, your dislikes, then you're sharing a piece of yourself. And TopCon helps people share a piece of themselves. And today, what I'd like to do is I would like to share with you about some more people that are behind the scenes at TopCon. So one that, the ones that you might see, but you don't know exactly what they're about. There's a lot of those at TopCon. There's a lot of them that you see that you don't even know have anything to do with TopCon whatsoever. Those are not the ones I'm going to focus on today. The ones I'm going to focus on today are the ones that you do actually see, but you're not entirely informed on what their, what their, oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Not purpose. That's not the word I'm looking for. What their function, function, that's the word. Sometimes you got to think and come up with the proper word. You don't just want to throw words out there because when you throw words out there, they can be misconstrued and they can be misunderstood. And I don't want that to happen. I want you to know exactly what I'm talking about. So, we're going to talk about the people that you do see that are in the public eye. And those people, those people, have a function other than the function that you're looking at. I'm talking about people like the artist that display at TopCon, that show their work and sell their work at TopCon. I'm talking, talking about the exhibitors that they bring their merchandise into TopCon, they have those rare comics you're looking for, or the, that game, that game you've been wanting really bad, or they may have that gift item, that comic book or game-related item, you know, a little statue or a toy or anything that you've been wanting. The exhibitors, important people. Or you may be talking about the cosplayers, not not the cosplayers that come and enter the contest and that are judged, but the professional cosplayers, the people like iBot, Iron Brothers of Topeka, or the Predator, or Arizona Power Girl, even the steampunk groups, okay? The, the professional steampunk people, you know, those are another group. We're going to talk about all these people in turn, and over the next year before TopCon actually takes place, we'll talk about each and every one of them, and we'll, you know, we'll bring them in, and we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about what they do, what their functions are, other than what you visibly see. Today, however, what I'd like to do is kind of talk about the cosplayers. I want to talk about people like Iron Brothers of Topeka, um, like I said before, Arizona Power Girl, steampunk groups. I'm, but the steampunk groups, I'm actually going to take and I'm going to separate those out from these others, and we're going to talk about them at another time, not today. That's, that's not today's subject. I want to talk about the straight cosplayers today. People like Predator, like I said, Iron Brothers of Topeka, Arizona Power Girl, people like that. Those are the people, the professional cosplayers. I've had an opportunity, because of TopCon, to be able to get to know some of these people, like the Iron Brothers of Topeka, iBot, okay? Uh, and the iBot guys have people, I want to call them like satellite people. They're people that are friends with iBot, and they interact with iBot at different functions like TopCon, but they're not part of iBot. They're, they're a separate group altogether. People like uh, Vector, for instance. If you look at the TopCon poster, you'll see Vector right in, right in there with TopCon, or the Red Dalek, 
for instance. You'll see the Red Dalek in there. These are satellite people. These are people that are friends with the Iron Brothers of Topeka. They're associated with them, but they're not Iron Brothers of Topeka. They're satellite people. The Iron Brothers of Topeka, they are a really close, tight, nip and, nip and tuck kind of closed up group. Okay? And they do that to keep the purity of the group whole. Okay, to keep the ideas whole, to make sure that ideas that they have don't leak out. They're constantly developing new characters and improving on the characters that they already have, like Iron Man, uh, War Machine. I mean, if you've seen iBot, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen iBot, visit their Facebook page. Go like them on Facebook. You know, iBot, Iron Brothers of Topeka. You can find them, just type it in, Iron Brothers of Topeka. Anyway, these guys, I've got to know them. They're a great group of guys. They're just absolutely fantastic. The core people in iBot are Michael Hayes, his brother Neil, and we'll just call him Judge Hellfast. No, his name's Chris, but he likes to go by Judge Hellfast, and I kind of like Judge Hellfast, too. It kind of defines who he is as a person. I've got to know these people, and they're great people. Their hearts are just... <sighs> their hearts are just huge. They're enormous. They are the type of people that you want to have as friends. You definitely want to have them as friends. They're professional in every sense of the word. Okay, They love their art, and this is an art what they do. It's definitely an art. Pay attention. You saw the opening sequence of this, otherwise you wouldn't be sitting here watching this video right now, now would you? So, what I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to the closing sequence. Okay? They're in the opening sequence or in the closing sequence of the video. But I'm going to focus, I'm going to really strongly focus on them in the closing, uh, in the closing segment of this video today. Take a look. Go find them on Facebook. Okay, like their page. Definitely like their page. Keep up with what's going on with them. But look at the care that they put into these costumes. You know, um, I don't know how many man hours that they put into these things, but I know there are a lot. I've been fortunate enough to be privy to walk into the workshop and see some things that they're working on, and the things they're working on are beyond imagining. They're just, they're fantastic. Um, their minds are constantly working. How they can improve on the costumes they do, how they can make them better, how they can entertain better. And because of that, because of that type of professionalism that they show, you see them out in the public as the iBots, as Iron Man, as War Machine, as the Battlestar Galactica, as the Cylon. Oh, the Cylon. Mm -mm -mm. And the public, you, you enjoy getting your pictures taken with them, you enjoy meeting with them, you know. But stop and think a second. Take a close look at those costumes and think of the amount of man hours that go into that. And then stop and think about this. They donate their time to come to TopCon so that you, you, can appreciate what they do so that you can have your picture taken with them and so that you, for a moment, for a moment in time, can say, Wow, I got to stand next to Iron Man. Oh my God. I got to be with the warriors of Battlestar Galactica. I got to look a Cylon in the eye and not be melted into a mass of just bubbling flesh and grease. Ugh, goo. They bring that to you. They bring their art to you so that you can enjoy it, so that you can touch it, and so that you can appreciate it. But the next time you see them, the next time you stand next to them, think about the amount of time that they dedicate without pay. No money. Okay? To bring these characters to life 
for you. Now, there's functions they go to where they do get paid. You know, that's what they do. But we're not talking about those other functions. We're talking about TopCon. TopCon, they came to me and they said, Gypsy, we really want to see TopCon grow. We want to see TopCon make it. We want to be a part of it. We want in on the ground floor. We want to help you. And, you know, they've never asked me for anything in return except my friendship. And they got my friendship. That's not a problem. Even if they didn't come to TopCon and help, I'd be proud to call them friends. But I want you to understand that when they do TopCon, they're doing it from here. Right here. They're not doing it for this. They're doing it for this. And I just want to tell you guys, because I know you watch these vlogs, you're appreciated more than you know. Thank you very much. And we will very soon be back with another vlog. I want to leave you with a little thought. It's always nice to get paid for something that you do, for something that you're good at, for your talents. Okay? I'm an artist. I like getting paid for my talents. You know what, though? I think I've given away more of my work than I've actually ever been paid for. And the reason why is because the payoff, when I give away something that I've done, something that I've painted, is the look and the smile on someone's face. I was at a party the other night over at Michael Hayes' house, and I had this pair that I had made. It's just a cartoon pair. It was done on a piece of foam board, and it was part of a joke. Won't share the joke with you here, it was a little on the risque side, but I'd made this pair, I painted it up. She had a face on her and she was smiling, tongue hanging out of her mouth, and at the end of the party, I gave it to Michael. Yeah, sure, I had time invested in it, you know, and had a couple hours of making her, but so what? The look on Mike Hayes' face, the look of appreciation when I handed him that pair was all the payment that I would ever need. Get paid for what you do. Get paid for your talents. But you know what? You don't always have to be paid for your talents and money. Sometimes a simple thank you and a smile is payment enough. And anytime you can donate your talents to help others, as the iBots have donated their talents to help TopCon, step up to the plate and do it. Because it's just another jewel in your crown. It shows what type of person you are. And I know you are a good person. You're a good person because you sit here and you watch my vlog, vlogs and you vlog. It, it's, it's a video vlog, you know, but vlog. You watch my vlogs, you listen to me ramble on, and you don't shut me out. And I appreciate you letting me in. So until next time, this is the Gypsies saying, Hasta la vista, baby. Bye-bye. And you know what happens here. This magic little finger goes right over here to this button and it zooms in and it goes...